some new guys here. And some notes. What is this? Bakarov's diary. Is Bakarov still moving around or something? Because I don't remember seeing these. Okay, uh, October 16th. We have obtained excellent results with the latest strain of Victor Serums. However, while they are preventing the exocells from killing their hosts, the poor souls continue to undergo hideous and painful mutations. The serum also seems to speed up certain phases of the process. What we are creating here can only be called monsters. October 19th. One of the experimental subjects is driving me mad. I don't understand why Victor insists on keeping his failures. This thing is constantly bellowing and climbing the walls and ceiling of its cell. It is a good thing it hates light, otherwise it would be virtually uncontrollable. But the shouting, it goes on all night. The sound of it chills my blood. That sounds like the uh, thing that screams and then the lights go out. October 20th. It started, or it stared at me all day in the lab. I could feel its eyes on me everywhere I went. A. Kaver, or Karev, and L. Bartolovich have noticed my fear of it. Why won't Victor destroy it? October 21st. Today I caught the damnable creature trying to take apart its cell. I swear it started smiling at me when I saw it. I forced it back into a corner with a strong light before fetching a technician, Imperev, to repair the damage. It howled the entire time as if to let me know that someday it will come from me. October 22nd. It has apparently acquired new powers. I spent all day watching it, and to my horror I discovered that its howl made all the lights in the entire scientific module go out. Fortunately, the power was quickly reestablished, but it gave me but it gave that hideous scream and the lights died again. I tried talking to Victor about it, but he would have none of it. October twenty third. Today, we infected the last of the prisoners Yusupov had brought in for use as test subjects. Kamsky used an additional 20 centiliters of serum A412, but the, result look, the results look the same. Uncontrolled asymmetrical mutation. I think these test subjects will be put down. A. Bricklov and B. Delbowski, Delbowski, uh will do the necessary as usual. Victor is furious, like me. He feels that we are on the verge of a breakthrough and that only a few more subjects are needed. Whilst I do not feel remorse, my sleep is haunted by terrible nightmares. Even if the test subjects are dangerous criminals, they deserve better than this. I will be glad to go back to working on apes and other lesser creatures. Peter's gonna come for you. <laughs> October 29th. One of Anashenko's men went missing today. November 1st. An experimental specimen vanished this morning. I do not mean that it escaped. It vanished. All that could be seen was a slight disturbance in the air, like some sort of heat mist. It is terrifying to think of the powers that we may be unleashing here. November 2nd. We have established beyond all doubt that the missing specimen is still in its contaminant cell. Its aggression and insanity must have reached a threshold, after which it started bashing itself against the walls of its confinement in an attempt to escape. When it struck hard enough to injure itself, it faded into view for a moment, and tried to escape. Clearly, injury renders it visible. Is this its last trace of humanity? November 3rd. We have taken to filling this specimen's chamber with a fine mist 
which enables us to observe it better or to better observe it. Uh, its appearance is most strange. Death no longer seems to be at work. Hmm. November 4th. Two more guards, a Barov at uh, B. Martinev, have disappeared. Anashenko is accusing anyone and everyone. Victor is strangely calm, arguing that they probably got drunk and fell overboard. This is plausible. These marines crave only their weapons, alcohol, and sex. Yet, Victor's lack of concern is disquieting. I wish I could believe him. Sounds like Victor's doing some experimentation on the soldiers now. November 10th. When I came into the lab in the morning, it was clear that someone had been working there all night. I immediately suspected C. Kombiev at D. F uh, Fernandenko. Fernandenko? I think so. Two assistants I don't trust. I asked Victor about it, and he said I was imagining things, that I had been working too hard. He was the last person in here in whom I kept a little trust. I often think of my university friend D. Florinov. I should have taken his advice, but it's too late now. November 16th. Yusupov left today aboard the whaling ship. He claimed he was going with Lubinsky to make sure they get some good specimens for the lab. I think he just wants to get away from Victor. At first, Yusupov had to use Anna as a hostage to get Victor to work for him. But now, Kamsky is more enthusiastic about it than Yusupov. It is a strange reversal of roles. Anna also went along, of course. I find myself fearing for her safety, but perhaps she is safer with the Colonel Dmitry Yusupov than she is here. November 20th. Another mercenary, F. Pirov, van has vanished. Anashenko is beside himself with anger. He blames American spies, an old habit. November 24th. One of the exocell contaminant chambers is empty. We are now all in terrible danger. Victor seems unconcerned, claiming that the creature died so he threw it overboard. I was furious. I told Victor that if one of the creatures dies, we have a scientific duty to study it to find out why. Two other researchers, Ol Foretsky, and J. Lorenev agreed with me, but Victor replied by saying he had learned all he wanted from the specimen. He also said that he had come up with a solution to the problem of not having what he called appropriate subjects. He would say no more on the subject, however, telling me that I should not worry myself with such details especially when the work on the antidote was going so well. December 1st. Two more mercenaries, A. Delbev and T. Desiev, are missing. Anashenko is prepared for an assault. He reckons there must be a breach in the magnetic jamming. I think he is barking up the wrong tree. December 3rd. We established radio contact with the whaler today. A storm is moving in, making communication very difficult. However, I'm sure I heard them say they thought they w there were exocells on board. I felt my blood go cold. Anashenko gave them orders to turn back, but there was no reply. They have not responded to any of our calls since. I surprised myself, praying for the souls of those on board, especially for Anna, whose only misdeed is being the daughter of her father. December 4th. Today is a day of calamity. Victor has vanished. His notebooks are missing, as is his laptop. While well, it's uh, over in that scientific uh, dormitory, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I saw it earlier. 
Anyway, the samples of serum and antidote we are working on. Gone too! Perhaps he has gone mad and thrown himself into the sea, unable to bear the things he has done. Personally, I don't think so. I'm cons I'm convinced he has decided to experiment upon himself, and that he is hiding somewhere, awaiting metamorphosis. He often said that his ultimate objective was to arrest the exocell process. He said that it would be a tremendous feat to harness the creature's power, mutations of and subsequent changes of personality. If I ever set eyes on him again, I do not think I will recognize him. Hopefully all this is a bad dream. God help us all if he has succeeded. December 5th. Still no word from the whaler. Still no sign of Victor. And today, someone released the last remaining specimens from the laboratory. They are now roaming all over the platform, and the exocells are breeding like wildfire. Anashenko has barricaded himself in with his men, but it is useless. I await certain death. Victor, what have you done? This time, I was very nearly done for. I am going to take refuge in the sick bay. As far as I am aware, there have been no attacks there. So it's that doctor that got killed earlier that I'm reading about, I guess. I didn't know that he was, uh, this guy. Anyway, whatever. I am taking the last prototype and a dose of the antidote. I know there are others in Kamsky's lab, but I can't bring myself to go there. Anna will come looking for me. Please hurry, Anna. I'm afraid there may not be much left of me by the time you get here. The two helicopter pilots, C. Lakachev and J. B. Beletsky, have been killed. Anna is now the only one who can save me. Well, too bad when I found you, you got killed.